je pense que tant que ces minéraux sont là, il y aura la paix. Il, il n'y aura, aura jamais la paix parce que les minéraux devraient être une bénédiction. Mais malheureusement, c'est une malédiction pour le, la population. The curse started years ago under Belgium's rule. The Congo was and continues to be plundered for its mineral resources. While independence was to put an end to the Belgian exploitation, it became a more ambiguous and diversified operation. L'indépendance du Congo constitue l'aboutissement de l'œuvre conçue par le génie du roi Léopold. The United Nations stepped in in 1999 to curtail the effects of Congo's second war. In 2010, the international presence and exploitation continues. More recently, it is gold and other minerals which are funding the deadliest war since World War II. In 1996, Uganda and Rwanda invaded Congo. Seven more countries joined in, plundering Congo's resources. More than five million people have died as a result. While the invasion ended in 2003, rebel militias and government forces are fighting for the control of mines and trade routes in the eastern DRC. They use the profits to buy guns, rocket launchers, and munitions. It's bordering many countries that are very unstable themselves or where there's wars. Um, so the, the risk is that you have wars in neighboring countries. Should fighting resume in the Congo, that, that there could be, um, they could be feeding on, on each other, basically, these various uh, conflicts. Just the sheer size of the Congo and the amount of countries it's bordering, if you manage to stabilize the Congo, then um, you manage to stabilize it, basically most of Africa. Si si la Monique la c'est que la communauté internationale a intervenu mais est-ce que la Monique a, a fait quelque chose de qu'on peut donner de, de valeur donc ce que j'ai à dire à la communauté internationale c'est The international community has tried for years to stabilize the situation on the ground with little results. The peacekeepers of the United Nations Mission in the Democratic Republic of Congo or MANUC claim they are trying to keep the peace. However, in 2005, the UN mission was accused of trading guns for gold, immediately after a nationwide disarmament, demobilization, and reintegration program had ceased. In the mines of Congo, the workers risk their lives on a daily basis, hoping to get rich, but very little of the gold goes in their pockets. So far, their digging, sieving, and hard work has led only to more greed, war crimes, and plunder. Tunatisika, tunalala kama wanyama nje, tunapata mateso mingi, tunayeshiwa na mvua, tunapigwa na jua, sijui la kufanya, wanajeshi kila siku wanajeshi, wametupora mali, wamechukua kila kitu, wamechukua manyumba, wamechukua vyakula, hatuizi ishi na raha. Le richesse du Congo profite le... Donc, c'est la population qui en profite. Quoi. 